Okay, welcome back. We're going to have a tree. We're still working on the same canvas, making different pictures. This is the canvas in the beginning for Valentine's Day that I said would spell love. It did, but it didn't look good, so then we changed it. We made it into a tree. It wasn't a very good tree, so I scraped the paint off of that. Um, and then here we are. So we were able to make a water, a ref water reflection. So I just dabbed this paint on with a fan brush and created a water line with a knife and a titanium white. And then I just um, pulled the ink or the ink, the paint down this way. As you can see, there's some green within the water. And then I ran the brush across this way lightly so you can kind of tell there's a reflection. Once again, I forgot my light source. That's the main thing I need to have. So another one, another painting, we're just not gonna have a light source. So, but we are gonna make a tree. So I have some um, titanium, or not. Yes, it's titanium white and it's mixed with Van Dyke Brown. And yeah, Van Dyke Brown, titanium white. And this is what, I mean, this could be a lot cleaner looking, but you can see there's like a little roll of paint on there. That's what I'm going to use to make my tree trunk. So here we go. Whoa, I already made a happy little accident. Okay, so we're going to put our tree like this. So I'm just going up. Oh. Well, that turned green there, so let me wipe. Oh, you can see, I'm trying to make a tree again. Trees are hard. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this off because it has the green in it. I grabbed the green because the paint is kind of thick and I'm still learning about that. So, and all this is from my head. I'll show you a painting though that I did do where I had to rewind and keep rewinding Bob Ross to make this painting. It's actually hanging up and I'll show you that towards the end, but let's try to make this tree right now. Um, okay, so we're just gonna have the knife like this and just kinda, we're just gonna go up like this. Okay, that kinda looks like a tree. Yeah, uh, let's maybe make it a little bit bigger down here the base. Sounds good. Kind of, it's got some texture on it. So when it does dry, uh, I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, you can see the texture. So when it does dry, you can put a varnish on this, but you can see the texture of the paint. Okay. And then we need to put some branches. So I'm still using the same. We're going to put, um, oh, actually this is what we're going to do. We are going to go back into our Van Dyke Brown that's going to be darker than this, than this one. I'll actually maybe add it to the side here. Okay, it's going to be darker. So what we're doing is we're going to make little tree, bran tree branches like I tried to make on the other tree that I was upset about. And this is going to be my last video tonight. I think I've done, what, three or four tonight, but okay, this is still the same day, Valentine's Day, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to take this brush, put it in some paint thinner, then I'm going, I have put on my palette the Van Dyke Brown. I'm just going to use Van Dyke Brown. I'm not going to mix any colors because I have a limited amount of time, but it's supposed to be the consistency of ink. And so I'll be able to make branches really easy, make branches really easy when I, well, Bob Ross makes it look easy, but when you really try it yourself, you're kind of like, whoa, how did he do that? Okay, so here we go. So he's just says kind of let the, so kind of let the paint just kind of move around, he says, and you know, uh, where does little light just kind of go? Whoa, that's a big branch. 
Okay, I wasn't. Oh, and I forgot the gal kit again. Okay, well, I need to keep. I need to remember the gal kit, or my paint's not going to dry. So this is kind of hard to show you. Let me just make a few here, this way, so that it'll at least look nice. Let me dip into again. So it's kind of the light. And I still can't ever get it to really look like his. My branches just look weird right now. So try to. You'll have to watch a Bob Ross video. I'm sure if you found my channel, you've probably already seen Bob Ross or Lena Dania. She paints really cool water actually paints water like water droplets and people floating in water. It's really cool. Lena Dan Dania. Okay, so I know all branches are different. So Okay, that kind of looks like a tree. Oh, six minutes. Now I was watching a tutorial because I needed to revisit how to make a tree and so we do this first. Let me clean off my brush. Okay, we're going to do this first and we are going to take a fan brush, some black, he said black and sap green so I've got midnight black right here I'm going to put it down black sap green yellow he said yellow so let's add some yellow this is cadmium yellow this is what he uses um, on his palette and black and yellow make a green but he wanted to also add in some sap green as well so it's sap green midnight black and cadmium yellow and we are going to mix those on this fan brush so oh no we're not he is using this brush oh my gosh let me check real quick oh my gosh okay I'm wasting time hold on hold on hold on Yes, he used that brush. So this brush, I need to clean it because it has white on it. So back into the paint thinner it goes. And this is the container. You can buy it at Michael's. It has a screen in there. You scrape your brush across. Across. And this is Gamsol, which is an odorless paint thinner. doesn't smell at all doesn't smell at all so I shake shake it off get the excess paint thinner off oh he also says we got to make shadows too so let's make shadows real quick and you do that with titanium I'm gonna do it with titanium white and I'm gonna just say that oh this is my Highlight, I mean, not shadow, my highlight. Oh, there's still some brown on there, too. Okay, this is just painters that have this together. I don't do any editing, though. I'm too lazy for that. You guys, feel free to watch me with my setup I have here because this is probably as good as it's going to get. So, on my bedroom floor, uh, he'll want a highlight. So... On my knife, Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> that's a really, oh my gosh, that's a really, talk about highlight. But you can see that it's very textured, so when it dries, you'll be able to feel it. Uh, I'm not happy with this either, but let's just see. Uh, let's just see how this goes. I didn't realize how hard this was to just do out of your mind without having a reference because I'm not looking at anything. I just looked at videos and I'm trying to just recreate this myself so I can make my own paintings and just learn 
these techniques um, from others that have already painted, like Lena Dania, check her out, and Bob Ross. So I'm going to make some of this green. Well, what he did was is mix the black and the yellow kind of together on this two inch brush and added, we're gonna add this sap green. I think I need more yellow. I do, I need more yellow. Okay, hold on. So more yellow after this. Oh, it's already at 10 minutes. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit longer because I'm not gonna come back on and record again tonight. I'm done for the night painting. I love it, but I've done enough right now and I think I just need to learn more. So I mixed more yellow in with the black, which made, it makes like a nice green actually. And I put some sap green in there. So it is a really nice green. So yeah, follow his instruction when he says, um, midnight black, cadmium yellow, mix those together, make a nice green and add some sap green. And then we go up here and he dots with just this portion of the brush. I'm scared, but let's just see how it, I think I have too much paint. It doesn't look that good. It's like looking muddy. Oh. So. Okay, I should probably stop because if you if you go any further, so this is what I've learned. If you go further than this, it starts looking muddy. And as you can tell, it's Let's see if you can see any thickness. You can see shine, but texture. Anyways, you can see how I dipped into the paint onto the canvas with just this portion of your two inch big, huge brush. So I don't know. I think that's an okay looking tree, but I'm going to stop. I really want to keep going, but I'm not going to because I know it's going to start looking like crud. So I'm going to stop with that. And again, I forgot the gal kid. I keep forgetting to add this to my paint. So add this to your paint so that your painting will dry faster. So I keep forgetting to add that because I'm not used to using that for painting. But as I was watching that Lena Dania, she uses that as a medium so that your painting will dry faster. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going with this, even if it's like 15 or 20 more minutes. Let's see, we could, I don't know if I want to add any more to the tree. I'm kind of scared because, as you can see, I don't know, it kind of, it looks okay. We could try and take, now here I go, I'm going to maybe get out of control. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, Let's see, what else could I add here? He's always adding like... We could add, let's add more yellow and then we could add like some bushes down here. And I know I don't even have a light source. Ooh, but clouds. Ooh, I can make clouds with this white. Ooh, and I'm putting the Galkid gel. This is for my, I'm making clouds. So I know how to make clouds pretty good. I think, oh, let's see. So usually he says, I'm just kind of, I'm just going to make one because it's going to make the painting look too busy if I do a lot. I should have started first. Usually Bob Ross says, you want to start in the back and then move forward. So as things get closer to your eye, they're going to be more detailed. But I do need a light source, which I forgot again, and I do need some clouds because I think that would be cool to have some clouds. So let's just I'll have you just kind of watch and he does something like I'm not going to get it too crazy. Okay, something like this, but then you can also wisp. So wisp up. 
I guess is uh, now I'm doing some kind of down, but um, I don't know. That doesn't really look like a cloud, but let's try to do something that makes it more cloud-like. Maybe like like this. I think it needs something like that. That's fine. Everybody has their own different way. It's it's a little cloud. Yeah, I could live with this. Oh, that made a cool effect. Okay, I should probably stop. So now I'm going to stop because it's going to start looking crazy if I keep messing with it. That's another thing he says is, you'll fiddle it to death, so don't fiddle it to death. I want to keep on working on this cloud, but I'm not going to, because that means I'll be fiddling it with, fiddling, <laughs> fiddling it to death. I want to put some bushes down here so it looks a little more, maybe like the same color as the tree. I don't know, this is like a third or fourth grader maybe could paint this I don't know it's really fun I know it doesn't look the best but I'm having a good time so let's do this again on the I'm getting more dark okay so we're grabbing I'm grabbing more dark and then let's do some bushes around here so I'm gonna um, let me I'm gonna try this without holding like this because it'll be harder and when you guys do this at home you'll probably have an easel. Um, my easel is not accommodating the size, so I'm not using it. So I say I don't have an easel. I'm just using my bedroom floor. So hold on one second. Let me try to put the bushes in if I can, if it looks right. Okay, so that's what I did. I just did one dot. Now, let me just, it's better if I hold it. I'm gonna try my best here. I don't want to fiddle this to death either. But this, I got to go over the tree trunk though. Is that right? Yes. So when you go over it, see it's getting muddy now because look, you can tell when I say muddy. Uh, because you can't see. Yeah, it's kind of muddy, you know, it doesn't really look that good, but I'm going to finish up the corners because I think it will look better. So let me do that right now. Let me just kind of dot this and just kind of go up into that. Okay, so I kind of went up into that. It got muddy. Uh, let's add some dark because you can't have the light without the dark. And see, it would be better if we had more dark down here. So let's do that. Okay, I'm at 18 minutes. Let's, we're gonna try to cut this. Okay, so let's, I need to wash this brush. It had the white on it from the clouds, okay? Bob Ross does his paintings in like 20, 27 minutes or so, under 30 minutes. So I'm, what I don't wanna make like that long of a video right now because I'm still trying to get down the basics once I get, better I'm sure everything will look better so let's try to put some more dark in here with a fan brush and it might look better if we did like some uh, maybe just the corner of the brush that's probably looking muddy huh you guys see well I'm kind of mad now uh, 19 minutes so I kind of you know I put black thinking Plus I'm in a hurry, I'm thinking about the time and I probably shouldn't think about the time because it makes me go faster and then this starts happening. But this is like my land, I guess. Let's make it come down this way. My land. And then I am gonna use some yellow. Now I'm just like, beating it because just making it look I don't know maybe like grass he usually beats his canvases so 
I'm beating this canvas and you know what I think it it's muddy but it looks okay looks like some bushes let's put some highlights in there we need something I want to say yellow because the tree has some yellow I think that needs some yellow like maybe it was leaves were falling uh okay let me get the yellow I'm gonna put it over here and let's see if I can make some kind of with a fan brush I'll just use the oh let's get some gal kid I'm gonna use just this cadmium yellow there's a little bit of the green and you basically will just mix whatever you want you are the artist you don't have to follow my instructions I just am mixing with the paint that I have because I don't like to waste and why not just use the same color sometimes I don't clean my brush this time I did so let's see how can we make make some let's try it uh, I don't know how that looks so I am gonna just use the corner this corner that just has some paint on it you see and I'll just dot it add some something and again you don't want to make it muddy so that does have an okay effect let's get more yellow I would like to put more yellow something like that I mean it kind of looks uniformed it doesn't look as random as when he does it because he does I mean the randomness really he does a really good job being random and still looking like grass. He also says you can pull up. So you can pull up like this and make different kinds of bushes. So I don't know. It actually looks pretty good. I'm impressed with myself excuse me impromptu here comes the hubby and the, puppy. And the puppy hubby the puppy okay so this is an impromptu Rob what do you think oh nice tree. do you like it yeah. okay he likes my tree and we're at 22 minutes I think I'm gonna call this good because I think if I mess with it anymore it's gonna look crazy actually hold on See, design is never done. Let me see if I can, oh, just put a little bit of yellow grass right here. So, oh, can you see me? I'm probably making it worse now, you guys, but it is very hard or I, mean, I shouldn't say hard, but very easy to get carried away. See, as you can tell, I'm having a hard time stopping. But as you work on it, just like you work on any art piece, you will get there. So, well... It would be cool to get a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, okay, I'm at 24 minutes, you guys. Uh, I will be done with this. If I do work on it again, you know what this looks like, and then I'll just post another one if I add, if I add anything else to this. But I do know I need a light source. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.